I want to clean this off a little bit, make sure there's no burrs. So I'm using a metal brush. And this will go on there like that, hopefully. And this should go in there, hopefully. I do have to put a piece of wood under this, a block of sort. There you go. Let me get my little leather tack hammer. Just like new. You never know that I did that. So there we are guys. I had to drill a hole in this, which I did. Put the pin back through it, which was the same pin that was holding this onto this through the hole on that so basically I took the threaded rod that was here and twice the size well you've seen what I did I grounded it down using the big old grinder and then fine-tuned it with the Dremel and then I drilled the hole well, I flattened it a little bit then I drilled the hole so that's what we have so that's ready for install believe it or not now I'm going to take this motor Put it over here in the motor. All right, so much for that. I did have a container, a big container that had all the motors in and all the gears, and now I can't figure out where the hell I put it because I got two more motors to put in there now. All right, so here we are. Now that's this thing making noise. Up and down. Oh, it's a little crooked. All right, I can straighten that out. That's not a big deal. Yeah, okay, so I got to straighten that out real quick before I hang it because um, I don't think the chain, uh, it may, but I may have to straighten it out just a hair, which is not a big deal. Let's see. Oh, it seems to track okay. I still want to straighten it out just a little bit though. Okay. Okay, so that tracks okay if I want to leave it as is. But I'd rather have it track a little straighter, so that's not a big deal, however. Alright, so let's work on this piece because this drives me nuts. have to have something on here to help hold the gears and keep the gears clean so now that I got this part I might as well grease it up and then I'll try to fix it. I don't know if you guys watched that program on Animal Planet. I think it's still on Animal Planet. Uh, it was called Tank, or Tanked, meaning fish tanks. And there was one of the guys that work in the uh, in the uh, 
fabrication department uh, and they call them redneck well I was watching it one day and I was saying Jesus you know I like what they use when they're sealing these tanks together and things first you gotta have to make sure you got a straight edge and a clean edge because when you once you bond them or weld them together using the liquid uh, material that they have uh, you know it, that's it and if it leaks you're kind of screwed um, but it'll hold just about anything I mean they put these big tanks you know these you know thousand gallon tanks together with three inch and six inch you know uh, material using this liquid glue I mean like whoa so I uh, I sent uh, Redneck an email I said listen uh, I'm not looking to compete with you guys, but whatever it is you're using, uh, I can use it in my little shop, you know, when I'm tinkering. So, what is it? <laughs> so, he got back to me and he says, uh, this is what they use. Whoops. Uh, the liquid number four is like water. I mean it is like water This one here is also as thin as water um, I don't know. I think it's a faster set than this one. I'm not positive um, Very fast all right where well, this one's just fast Oof. Um, Ventilated area and this one is more like a um, like a thin uh, pancake syrup uh, which is also a fast setting and they're all clear the thing is I don't know if they'll work on this because believe it or not I mean you know we look at plastic as being plastic well there's there's all kinds of plastic out there um, so plastic really isn't plastic uh, especially plastic it's a little bit different than your acrylics uh, with plastic uh, there's a certain amount of wax in it and that's what makes them hard for them to uh, to bond because of that little bit of um, wax that's in there that's why they tell you sometimes to uh, put some alcohol on it and then light it and let it burn for a second you know because uh, you want to get some of that wax off the surface that you're going to be bonding together so, I don't think this is going to work on this I don't think this is made for that but we'll see we'll try it we'll try it but I think I'm going to have to use the other stuff instead. So, take a little bit out in the syringe. Put it into my little applicator. Now I have two different applicators with different size uh, points on them. Believe it or not, this is the bigger point. by rubbing it on my dirty shirt you know it's not like a crazy glue uh, on everything but on some things it is but I don't think this is gonna work I really don't but we'll try it just for the hell of it you know I mean for my knowledge as well as yours See what I mean? Like water? Alright, so we're 
let that sit for a few minutes, then I'll trim it off. And then I'll throw some grease in here. And, uh, and let it sit for a few. Alright, I'll be right back, guys.